Hey guys, before starting, don't forget to check out this uh, uh, awesome 3D modeling channel on SolidWorks. Goes with the name of MacBus. The link is in the description below. So do have a look on this channel and don't forget to subscribe it. Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a cone in sheet metal in fusion 360 so uh, i have a cone of sheet which i made using the sheet metal workspace in fusion 360 so if i just click on the flat pattern you guys can see this is how the sheet will look like before it is rolled out into that cone so hope you guys will enjoy the video so for that uh, first of all yeah so before that uh, make sure you you uh, download the drawing the link of the drawing is in the description below so do have a look so we have a, a side view which represents the height the angle of the cone and the sheet thickness is given is 2 mm that's the inside so we will be working on the outside dimension and there is a hole that is not necessary that is just an extra uh, profile so main thing is to learn uh, how to uh, unbend or unfold the cone profile in Fusion 360. Basically, Fusion don't provide any direct means unlike uh, for cylindrical object, you guys can easily unfold the cylindrical object. But in terms of cone, this is not possible. I'm going to show you a trick uh, by using which you can be, you, you will be able to uh, unfold the cone. So let's start by making the cone first. So I will be making the cone. So the uh, the lower diameter as you guys can see here is 100 mm the out the upper diameter is not given but the height and the angle is given so I'm going to use the angle and the height to make this cone so for that switch to workspace and I'm going to use, I will be using the uh, revolve to make the command uh, to make the cone and draw a line a horizontal line like this and a line like this now again go to d for dimension from this point to sign the height of the cone is 100 mm and make it uh, where is the coincident now press again d and this point and this point remember the dia is 100 mm so the radius we are working on the half profile of the cone so like this and the angle from this point to this line if you just switch on the drawing is given 73.3 so make it 73.3 and press enter once done finish the sketch go to surface remember uh, we will not be extruding it onto the uh, revolving or on the surface we will be using the surface command so revolve select this and the axis is the green one now for the sheet metal remember uh, we will uh, we will not be using uh, uh, the angle 360 degree because uh, as you guys can see the, there is a gap the sheet cannot be the sheet in this cone is uh, you know the, the from the this cone has been made from a sheet so there has to be a gap between where the sheet gets joined so for that I will be uh, only revolving it at a distance of 259 uh, let's say 359 sorry 359 degrees and you may select new component or new body and press ok now once done you guys can see here we have a small gap between these sheet now now what I'm going to do is go to sheet metal and before working on the sheet metal if you're not aware go to sheet metal rules here you can uh, define your own sheet or you can uh, even use the default sheet or the default thickness suppose that here I basically use aluminium sheet and if I just click on the properties you can see the K factor the bend condition the thickness you you all have the options so I'm going to select the aluminium sheet for my uh, workspace so you guys can uh, do it from here and close the sketch now what I'm going to do is create a flange and bring back the first sketch you have drawn now once uh, selected select this line and make a flange like this and the side would be uh, side 2 the inside and the distance is minus one, 0 0.1 
uh, keep is keep it low as low as you uh, possible and from the sheet metal rule i am going to use the aluminium sheet and press ok basically we are just making this plans to convert our body into a sheet metal body cause to work in the sheet metal workspace or uh, or to unfold or unbend your body your body needs to be in the sheet metal workspace a uh, sheet metal type I, if you if i just uh, uh, you you guys can see th this is the logo for sheet metal so our revolve is was in the surface and our flange is in the sheet body now what i'm going to do is go to modify and go to change parameter and here you guys can see the sheet metal rules the thickness is 2 mm we are using aluminium 2 mm thickness sheet and the name is d5 you guys can rename it like anybody uh, like anything so the default name is d5 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to create i uh, go to surface first of all go to create go to thicken now click on the inside face and towards inside i'm going to make a thickness to this surface remember i told you that uh, the thickness of the flange was 2 mm so you guys can choose the 2 mm but i'm not going to choose the 2 mm because i need it to be perfectly aligned with the flange so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give the thickness as a small d5 remember what i got from the uh, from here the change parameter so the thickness was d5 and the object the operation would be join not the new body but this time join so i i want my thickness to be uh, merged with the flange and when i press ok you guys can see now we have a single uh, body here that is in the sheet metal body so again if i just go to sheet metal workspace and i go to create flat pattern then it will ask you about the stationary face so what i'm going to do is I will select this 0.1 mm wide stationary face to be my uh, to create my flat pattern and if I just press ok you will see that it will create a, a flattened uh, surface of the body now one thing important needs to be noted that when you are using working in the flat pattern workspace you will not be able to do anything suppose that if I make a hole uh, uh, right now here and if I just click on the finished pattern it will not be included into your body it is just for visual purpose to make uh, to make editing while the your surface is actually uh, flattened then you need to go to modify and select on unfold for that again it will ask you about the stationary pattern so each time you need each time you need to make any changes while the sheet is unfolded you need to go to the unfold workspace so again click on the stationary the bend the bend click on the green one and press ok now as you guys can see we have our sheet uh, open now if i just go to create an sketch and let me just draw a hole one hole here and one hole here and let's see one hole here uh, i'm just making it randomly so you guys can see what i'm actually doing click on extrude select this hole this hole this hole and extrude cut it now when i will uh, refold the face you guys can see it will automatically be included in the body and here we need to update the flat pattern so update it now if i just activate it you guys can see the hole is included here also now for this uh, for this cut it's actually a simple cut so i'm just going to make you understand what is going to do so click on this line and draw a line light from here to here i'm i'm not taking the dimension from the drawing i'm just doing it roughly so click on extrude and two sided or you guys can select even symmetric and press okay now just activate the flat pattern and we will, you will have your uh, pattern uh, flat pattern created so this is how the cone in fusion 360 works so hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day